got that that record that you that you waiting to, to get that crowd, especially on the big events and when you're doing when you're in front of 20, 30, 40 thousand people. In order for you to really have something that really works and makes everybody say, "Yo, I wish I was there," you have to give it up for the DJ. My definition of a DJ is like being a Pied Piper. Play the right tunes, the crowd will follow. It's because I really take what I do serious. I don't take it as a game. I did it when there was no money. Back then. We get a song, we do it all. And when I got out there, they came to pick me up at the airport and they was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you we got, got, a got a flight case for this. I'm like, man, I ain't <laughs> traveled past Chicago. One of the most important reasons why you should give it up for the DJs because we make a lot of sacrifices to make you happy. And they provide the soundtrack for the things that we go through in life. Some of the exclusives that I had on my mixtapes were was Dr. Dre, uh, Easy E. Uh, the whole NWA crew, Ice Cube. You know how many people I got married? <laughs> you know how many babies I, you know what I'm saying? By, by DJ, not a spot. DJs who makes the most money is the DJ who gets requests from the people to go out and do these parties. First cat that would put Jay-Z on a mixtape. It wasn't Clue. Hey, what's up? I'm DJ Brandy Garcia, repping now West Coast. You already know LA, California, and you gotta give it up for the DJ. No. Especially the block parties, people will come all the way from like a North Philly to come out to Mount Airy to see me play. If you don't like it, don't play it. Otherwise, you're like a sucker. Because you've never gone to a party and danced to a rapper. And that's exactly why you need to give it up for the DJ. The number one party rocker of all time. Point, but I'm sorry, no disrespect to any other DJ, but when that brother stacks his records up and changes records like that,